Let's pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For, for, for to beseech thee, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the National Shrine of St. Eutodeus. Today is Thursday after Ash Wednesday, and our Mass presiders, Reverend Father Nanding Santos, SVD. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we go on a sacred celebration, we recall to mind our sins and ask the good Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, who raised the dead to new life in the Spirit, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, who bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, who bring light to those in darkness, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. From our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and pardon them with your constant help that all we do may always begin from you and by you be brought to completion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your own Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways, and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees. You will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. 
If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heading his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give you fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus says to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please visit it. Choose light in the love of your God. For in this your life consists. Today we enter a deeper into the mystery of this joyful season of plan. We will hear that in our preface, which prepares us for rising with Christ at Easter. There is a gap of some 600 years between our first reading and gospel, but they have an essential message in common. They are both begging people to make a right choice before it is too late. Moses, in our first reading, is pictured giving his last warning before the chosen people cross the Jordan to enter the Promised Land. 
He has ample experience of the unreliability of his people in being faithful to the covenant of Sinai or Sinai and the Ten Commandments. And yet, the whole future depends on a loving fidelity to God, the God who brought them out of slavery in Egypt. Choose life. Then he begs them, in the love of your God, my God, our God. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Please stand. Our Lord Jesus calls us to follow him, to carry the cross after him, and to entrust to him all those who suffer. For each petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as members of the church, we may imbibe in our lives the spirit of the cross, and be willing to suffer for the sake of Christ and the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of our country may hear the cries of suffering people and may show commitment to the eradication of oppression and exploitation in society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering, the poor, the sick, the handicapped and prisoners may never fall into despair, but experience the comfort of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are alone in life may find companions who are willing to help them bear witness their crosses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be one with God and their loved ones in heaven for all eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For board and bar examinees and those who are taking academic and other examinations, may God grant them the desires of their hearts and increase their faith in answer to their prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and those in need of prayers, may God's abiding love sustain them to remain trusting in faith, steadfast in spirit, and resilient in hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the urgent concerns of our community, the online prayer requests, and the intentions offered in this Mass. We also include the birthday of the following, Brother John Daniel Ogod, Sister Marie Valdez, and Sister Bernadette Ong. We implore God's infinite goodness and gracious blessings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions. God, our Father, the passion and death of your Son brought life to the world. Help us to recognize the crosses and sufferings, not just in the great trials of life, but in day-to-day -day choices. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. 
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy o Lord, upon the whole holiness, make holy the for this yet we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took that chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the solace of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, the clergy, the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially Saint Jude the Deus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are you. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gradually grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let the us Lord pray. be with you. And be your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please kneel for our novena. Kindly turn to page... 15. We invoke the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, they instruct the hearts of your faithful people by the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us with the same spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 21, the epistle of St. Jude, verse 7. A Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities, which like them committed sins of immorality and practiced unnatural vices, have been made an example undergoing the punishment of eternal fire. O oh, good Jesus, I know that every perfect gift, and above all others, that of chastity, depends on the powerful action of your divine providence. I know that without you, a creature can do nothing. This is why I beseech you to defend by your grace the purity of my soul and of my body. And if I have ever received any impression whatsoever, 
of a sentiment capable of soiling this ineffable virtue, I visit you, O Supreme Master of my faculties, blot it out from my soul so that with a clean heart I may advance in your love and service, offering myself chase all the days of my life on the most pure altar of your divinity. It is the cross that I adore, the cross of the Lord is with me, the cross is my refuge. Jesus, lover of chastity, Mary, mother most pure, and Joseph, chaste garden of the Virgin, to you I come on this hour, begging you to plead with God for me. I earnestly wish to be pure in thought, word, and deed in imitation of your own holy purity. Obtain for me then a deep sense of modesty which will be reflected in my external conduct. Protect my eyes, the windows of my soul, from anything that might dim the luster of my heart that must mirror only Christ-like purity. And when the bread of angels becomes the bread of men in my heart at Holy Communion, seal it forever against the suggestions of sinful pleasures. Heart of Jesus, fountain of all purity, have mercy on us. Confirm me, O God, by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Grant me power to be strengthened in my inner self and to cast out of my heart all unclean thoughts, not to be drawn away with various desires, but to view all things as passing away, and myself also as passing with them. For nothing is lasting under the sun, where all is vanity and affliction of spirit. O oh, how wise is he who judges in this way. Grant me, O Lord, celestial wisdom, that I may learn above all things to seek you and to find you above all things, to release you and to love you, and to understand all other things as they are, according to the order of your wisdom. Grant that I may prudently avoid all impure temptations and patiently endure those I cannot avoid, resisting to the end by the power of your grace. Amen. Please turn to page 37, Novena Prayers. O glorious Apostle St. Eusebius, to relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute you to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the graces as bestowed upon you. Humbly prostrate before you, I implore you to this heart to look down upon me with compassion. Let not my trust be confounded. To you, God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O oh, come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life I will be grateful to you, and will be your faithful client until I can thank you in heaven. Amen. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us that before death, we may expiate all our sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle, Saint Jude Tadeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, in the name of the traitor who delivered your beloved master, into the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many. But the church honors and invokes you diversity as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege according to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly. We also pray for the following intentions, for God's blessings at the National Shrine in St. Jude Tadeus and St. Jude Catholic School, for more vocations in the priestly and religious life, for board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, 
and all our devotees and their petitions. And that I may bless God with you and all the elect forever. I promise you, O blessed you, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Say to you today, is pray for us. And for all who invoke your aid. Let us pray. O Saint Jude Tadeus, relative of Jesus Christ, glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for your virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor, of all I honor you and trust in you. You are a helper in grievous afflictions. I come to you and entreat you from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with your powerful intercession, for you have received from God the privilege to assist with and manifest help. All those despair of all hope, look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust, and almost despair prey upon my soul. You cannot forsake me this sad light. I will not depart from you until you have heard me. O oh, hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to you all my life. I will honor you as my special patron. I will thank God for the grace bestowed upon you and will encourage devotion to you according to my power. Amen. Saint you today, you pray for us. And for all in walk your aid. I firmly believe that you are really and corporately present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore you here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship your sacred presence with all possible humility. O oh, my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us, and to be able to speak to him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O oh Lord, that I, having adored your divine majesty, here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore you eternally in heaven. Amen. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father, especially for the month of February, for the terminal ill. We pray for those with terminal illness and their families. Receive the necessary physical and spiritual care and accompaniment. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tanto me ergo Let me 
Fides supplementum sensum defectui genitori genitoque nau senium miracio salusum nor virtus coque sine You have given them bread from heaven. Containing in itself all the light. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, who in his wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Turn to page 43, Blessing for the Sick. Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting hell to those who believe. Hear our prayers for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord, Redeemer of the world, through the mayor's intercession of his holy apostle, Jude, the Deus, and all his saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. Amen. We shall now have the blessing of religious articles. Please raise them. 
Lord, show us your mercy and love. And grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And be your spirit. Let us pray. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God Almighty, Father, that we may be transformed into Christ's image through the devout use of these signs as aids to prayer. May the Lord in His love and mercy cherish and reinforce with His blessing these tokens of your devotion and piety. And may you take up the course of the present life without offending anybody. And may you attain eternal life with joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the love and peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Great Saint Jude in heaven's glory, great of all blessed souls, in our trials be our refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding, desolations, endless meaning, saint of God.